Welcome back. You know, we've had a decent weather week this week, so barbecues across the country may be getting fired up this weekend. Mm -hmm. Dean Diplock from the Radisson Blue Hotel in Athlone is joining us with the perfect accompaniment to your burger <sighs> and your hot dogs. Dean, great to see you. Dean, absolutely. Potato it's, bake. You come. Doesn't that sound delicious? Bearing gifts. It does, because you're putting bacon and cheese and all the good <laughs> things in there, aren't you? Well, a little bit of healthy stuff, but we'll get there. So what I've got, first of all, uh, whole potato. Just um, skin on, skin on. Give it a clean. Give it a good clean. Those green scourers that you get, get a new one. Give it a quick wash. Any mm -hmm. particular type of spud now for potato? You want one that's slightly waxy. So it'll hold okay. its shape. To hold its shape and doesn't go into mush like uh, mashed potatoes. Yes. Uh, about five millimeter or less. Uh, wouldn't go more than that. Okay. Okay. Very simple. And what we do is we grease our tray. I've got the sliced potato in there. Of course, if you don't have one, you can just do it with a knife. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put then the smoky bacon in layers in between the potato. If I can ask you to mix that, you've got milk and cream, 250 mils or a cup of milk, 300 mils of cream. And then we've got one of those cheese sauce packets, very okay. simple. And then this is the special one. This I want you to taste is it. The special this is what I have here. This is a smoked kielbasa potato baked spice available from your local Polish store. Baby. Very, very nice. It's got oregano, that smoky um, sausage. Pop that in there, sir. That's next. All right, and then to that, you're going to add then oh, the wow. garlic, the thyme, the oregano, and parsley. All of the above. All of the above. Nice I and quick. I keep going at this, but I shouldn't. <laughs> you can really taste it. It's very smoky. Absolutely. So the oregano. it's all putting that flavor into it. Now, because there's salt already in there, we're not going to add too much salt to the potato. But I'm next going to start with a little bit of sliced onion in that layer. Okay. Now, you'll notice I'm not going to put cheese in between because between, it tends to split. We're just using the sauces because they will thicken mm. and, and work in between the layers. We then just work on the next one. After he's mixed that, I'm going to get a spoon quickly. Okay. And that's How many layers? You'll go as high as you can. As with high it, as you can. Not too high, otherwise it will spill over. Okay, um, so you want to layers. finish on the top with your bacon and a little go, bit chef. of the sauce. Thank you very much, sir. All right, so all we do is we just nicely mix it up and we layer it over about three or four layers in between, so like so. Okay, and then we start on the next one. We lay the potatoes, slightly overlapping. Mm. I've cut nice long slices, so yes. it goes really quickly. You know, this is and such a simple Are easy you preheated dish. oven to what temp, chef? I've, I've put 180 degrees. Very it good. does take a while to cook. Yeah. Um, so, you know, are you looking at about 90 minutes? Wow, okay. Uh, give or take from start to finish. Um, but, you know, it really depends on your potato. <clears throat> Stick a skewer in. If it feels like it's almost done, it's then time to put the cheese on. So I'll show you. We cover this up and then we pop it in the oven. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. So we'll just mix this together. Mm. Oh. And if you wanted, could you, because I know you've used, you've used smoked sausage a couple of times in yes, the show. Yes, you could Could use... you chop up, slice up a bit of smoked sausage itself and lay it in Absolutely, there? Absolutely, that would be delicious. I was suggesting thinking of doing that, but <clears> I think it would be a little bit overkill with all the smoked bacon well, that's in there as well. Dino, Dino, There's a lot of flavour as it is. Who are we talking about Dino, here? you should have emailed me, son. <laughs> I would have said, go ahead, pet, yeah. fire away, get uh, everything you can in there. <laughs> more sausage. Yeah. More sausage and more sausage. So, these I've uh, sliced actually last night and just left them in cold water. They're slightly bendy, but when you do them fresh, uh, it would it cover stiffer. up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. So, last layer of our Goodness. bacon on there. All right, spread that out nicely, and then the remainder of our sauce over. Beautiful. And as you say, it's key not to put the cheese in now because it'll just... It will basically split. Yeah. yeah, basically split. So you can see it doesn't, the sauce doesn't go all the way over the edges, yes. okay? But having said that, when it does cook, it starts coming up the sides. So a little cartouche, a piece of greaseproof paper over it, mm. and then a double wrapping of our tin foil. Okay. That then is going to cause a steaming of the potato on the inside, mm -hmm. and that will cook nice and slow. But if you want a dirty oven, put it yeah. in just like that. Yeah, we'll put it in a tray. Preferably put yeah. a tray underneath it. So when we pop it in the oven, I've got one already in here. I'll take that out nice and slowly because mm. it is oh, piping hot, as you can see. Look at that. Oh, Mounted wow. Cheese, so cheese and everything on top. Yes. So, so that's how we it will pop, look. Exactly. I'm just going to put that aside so we can get this one in the oven. Uh, as you see, I have the tray underneath just so to keep... So that'll catch it. those juices that Any are coming juices down. that come... Okay. It does tend to spill it. There's nothing you can do about it. As it heats up, it comes up on the side. 
So, do you so, at any point take the tin foil off to brown the top? Exactly. Once the... 90 minutes, okay. give or take, stick a skewer into it. If the potatoes feel soft enough for the, the skewer to go through easily, take it out and we remove the cartouche and then we put on it's a nice cheese strong time. cheddar and a little bit of Parmesan cheese, just oh, to give it a lovely nice. crisp on it. Now, at this point, because it's hot, you can go straight into the grill and just grill it on top until that cheese is melted. Mm. Because it's already hot, it's not an issue. If you cool it down and need to do it the next day, I would suggest you recover it again, warm it up till it comes to temperature, yeah, and then, and then put the cheese on top yeah. and then grill it from that point onwards. Right. Otherwise, again, it will split. Simply served with a nice little green garden salad. Let's come across this side mm -hmm. and uh, we can get you. Everybody tells me when I'm working with you guys, you never get to taste anything well, because this is it true. takes so long. So I know you're not going to have too much of that. So <laughs> well, the thing is, we always get that. to taste it. <laughs> Even afterwards, if afterwards. But not on, and it not always on gets eaten. screen. Because <laughs> it's always. Well, I can assure you, we always bring extra for the, the team in the background. Mm -hmm. So this is a. A perfect accompaniment to a side dish for a barbecue as well. Well, exactly. I mean, the nice thing about this, you can serve it at room temperature as well. So yes, of course. Once yeah, yeah. you've made it, you set it outside, you have a couple of beers, you have something to eat and bread and a salad and a bit off the barbie. That's my portion and there, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, I can <laughs> see that's your portion, right? I'm not greedy. Absolutely your portion. So, Just like in, in you terms said, of barbecue, yes. I mean, common mistakes that we make. Common mistakes you we know, make when barbecue. We're, uh, we start are nervous about it. Yeah, we start cooking when the coals aren't hot enough yet. That's the biggest one they do. Oh, Those coals really need to get hot. Good. You want them to be white on the go top. Ahead, no, 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 go absolutely go white go hot. And one. then you must stage your cooking. So you want to start off with things that are going to take the longest to cook and then slowly end on the ones that are going to take the shortest. So in, in most cases, it'll probably be like your burgers would take the longest, yeah. and then you go down to your steaks, which will be just flip, flip, depending on how you like them cooked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the other thing as well is then, um, if you're cooking chicken on the barbecue, Pre -cook. don't cook it from yeah, yeah. on the barbecue. Yeah. Really? Pre-cook it in the oven yeah. a little bit and finish, finish it with your barbecue sauce, etc. That way you're guaranteed it's going to be cooked all and the way through. you get that char grill vibe on That's well. what you're really looking for. Sausage is another one. Sausage cooks really quickly on the barbecue, so leave it rather to the yeah, end. A nice hint that we do in South Africa is we start with a steak, uh, a nice big steak, and you seal that off, and you serve it almost as a starter on mm. a cutting board with a little salt, and people can just slice while you carry on cooking and have a little bit of something to eat. So it keeps, keeps the, the hungry mouths Keeps the mouths going, yes, while keeps them going. Away. Some good bread as well is another one, and, and something that you guys don't do in this country, I don't mm -hmm. understand why is what we call a braibruiki, or a bread that's cooked on the barbecue. Really? So you put cheese, tomato, onion in white bread, butter it on the outside, put it in the grill, and you toast it that way. OK, well, oh, if, if the sun comes so out, there may well be a stampede it's to do so that good. today. Yeah, We've absolutely. only ever toasted our buns for the burger, I think. <laughs> you, know, so you, yeah, know, right. you know, you must try, you must oh, try. Oh, it's delicious, Dean. Sorry, Have I jumped in there, Aiden. Aiden, have you gone right. in there yet? Uh, uh, he's he about didn't get a to. chance. He's he's I, don't, I don't think you like I'm going to steal your fork. I don't like it much. Oh, there we go. Great, thank you. I was using that for the salad, which this one doesn't eat. It's the saltiness of the bacon and the creaminess of the cheese of just a Do be careful you don't put too much salt in, because, yes, as you say, there is salt in the bacon. And in both the sauces that we put in there to, to potatoes, them up. onions, cheese, oh, you can't bacon, it's cream, a party dinner, milk. Isn't it? What's and nice about this is that you know it freezes well too. Believe it or not, because you're using a waxy potato, it won't break down. So <laughs> freeze it? Not a hope, man. But as much not as you say it's for a barbecue, that's real comfort food as well. It, it is actually. In the winter. Fantastic. Little yeah. salad, off you go. Dean, smash it. Thank it. you very much. Thank you, Dean. Well, Dean's yeah, yeah, yeah. up on our website, or as ever, he'll be in the Radisson Athlone later. So call into and say hello. Mm -hmm. Ask for this. We're starting barbecues tomorrow. Public there you barbecues. go. You see? Yeah, there we go.